morning. I don't believe we ended the vlog last night. Um, when we got back to the hotel, by the way, we're staying at the Vidara. I'll show you guys around. I was, yeah, when we got back last night, we um, got changed and stuff, and then we went to go see O by Cirque du Soleil at the Bellagio. The Bellagio is an amazing hotel. It's beautiful inside, and we saw the conservatory, which is like this, um, it's like a real garden, like real plants and flowers and stuff, and um, yeah, so it's display they have the changes I think it's five times a year yeah so we saw that um, and then yeah we went to see O which was good visually it was amazing but I thought that, and we both agreed that the performance itself was just kind of average like I don't know like the tricks and stuff weren't as cool and, yeah I think I, I think part of it was because it was so hyped up for us like everybody said it was amazing and even people here said that the, it was like their favorite Cirque show and things so we had really high expectations and yeah I think it just obviously didn't meet it um, because we'd seen Mystia as well which is another Cirque show and I really like that one we, we both liked it um, people were saying before that Mystia is more like a traditional circus show so if you're into that I would recommend that over O um, but there's like there's more circus shows here obviously we only saw two of them so can't tell you if it's the best or worst um, and then after that we went we grabbed some drinks at Holstein's Holstein's um, I've got this delicious but dangerous um, milkshake alcoholic milkshake it was really really good and yeah, we just came back. Yeah, and that was our last night. Today we're leaving Vegas and we're heading to Lone Pine, which is this random town on the way to Yosemite. Um, yeah, we're just driving. We're driving there. It's going to take about five hours. Um, our original plan was to go through Death Valley, but unfortunately, most of the roads through there are closed at the moment because there was. Uh, like really bad flooding recently which at first we were both like flooding in Death Valley what but yeah it apparently flooded and we saw footage of it and like it looked really intense so yeah they closed all the roads and um well they closed most of the roads they're still build up fixing it and stuff now so yeah obviously we can't go that way which is a shame but that's okay um yeah we're going to Lone Pine and our first stop for the day is Whole Foods. I'm so excited. I mean, I love Vegas. Like this is, has been a great, great four days we were here. But I'm excited to leave the Strip because the Strip is super, super expensive. Like I was checking our bank statement this morning. Oh my god! Like we bought a coffee yesterday. One coffee that cost eight dollars thirteen US. Eight dollars US. That's like twelve dollars Australian or something. Like it's ridiculous. <laughs> like we bought two coffees and two little egg bite thingies from Starbucks on our first morning here, and that was fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. That cost more than the dinner we had the night before. Like it's crazy. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited to leave go to a regular old supermarket, not a convenience store and hopefully the prices are a lot cheaper there I forgot to mention as well, Keith has just stepped out to go grab us coffee and breakfast that's why it's just me this morning but let me do a quick room tour of our hotel room it's kind of messy because right now I'm packing to leave so I should have filmed this on the first day but we were so dead from our flight that I just did not have the energy to even think about doing that so I'll do this now it's real life because yeah it's a bit of a mess <laughs> so this is the front door you come in and we have a little kitchenette actually not a little kitchenette it's massive like this fridge look at the size of this fridge this fridge is bigger than the one we have at home like look at this thing that was Utilized to hold one drink bottle Yeah, and we got a little dining table um, It's really dark in here for some reason Anyways, you come round 
and in here we have a washer and dryer which was very handy as you can maybe tell by all the clothes hanging around <laughs> we did a lot of washing last night and then you got this little sitting area this couch is super uncomfy but whatever and you come around and we got a TV and some drawers and then through here is the bedroom got another TV and then you come around through here and we got our bathroom yep. mess you know it's real life double sink which I always appreciate and like big bathtub the showers over here toilet with no door like bit <laughs> it's a bit of a situation and there's two doors there's a door there that goes around into the kitchen and then the door here through to the bedroom so you know it's just a work of communication to make sure no one comes in when you're on the toilet <laughs> and then we've got a vanity and then in here's the wardrobe yeah that's the room Keith's back with breakfast I'm trying this place called egg slut <laughs> Could be, could be Russian, we call it egg sloot. Egg sloot, I see. It's very popular, apparently it's really busy. What did you get? One called the Fairfax. Fairfax. Mm -hmm. And gluten free bread. Gluten free bread's okay. Is it good? Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's good. And we got our Starbucks. I'm saying goodbye to the hotel, but I want to show you this quick thing. Look how cool this is. Got automatic like shades, yeah, like a shade mechanism. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, and I'll show you guys our view that we had. We got a corner suite. We splurged a little on for this trip. Oh, I forgot one point. So yeah, that's that corner. You come round. And yeah, you can see the strip, kind of, pool, that's the link there, this is the Cosmo, um, that's Planet Hollywood, the Aria, yeah, and that's where the, uh, the tram runs, oh, here it is, right on time. Hi Vegas! We're here. We're inside. Oh my god, fresh fruit. The aisles here are so wide. Look at this. Oh my god, even the berry packets are huge. <laughs> what the hell? Look at these cute little mini pumpkins. It's my hand for scale. Oh no. Oh dear. Ooh, avocado oil chips. What about Costco ones? We've had them before. Wait, really? Yeah, you like them. Oh, okay. Why does the sunscreen have to say that it's gluten free? Ooh, this looks good. Kim chili sauce. This looks so good. Ooh, that looks good. It said water and oil. It said water and oil. What is curry ketchup and why do I want it? Plant-based ketchup. Isn't all tomato sauce plant-based? But they have curry mustard too. Okay, we're done with Whole Foods now. We're on the road. We're trying to fill up the car. But it's a little confusing. Like, do you pay before? Do you pay after? Are you paying now? I think we got it. Oh my god, is that an ad playing? There's an ad playing on the screen. That's weird. Does this work like ours where it just like shuts off? Surely. You pay now. Or you put like a hold on your cart. I think. I think, I think that's what you do. It's very confusing. Stopped for some lunch. We're having this uh, box thing you can make at Whole Foods. Potato. Potato. Yeah, we just got like rice and some veggies.
10,000 reviews on Google. And supposedly there's also California's biggest gas station. Here it is. We're not actually going in though, but we thought we'd just look at it from the outside. Cool. Apparently it opened in 1954. If this is really California's largest petrol station, it's very disappointing. Quick M&M snack for the road. Good morning, sorry for the abrupt cut of the footage, but um, we had to sort of stop the vlog for a little bit because we felt like it wasn't right to record for a little. Um, we we're going to record us coming into this town, we're staying in a town called Lone Pine, and we we're going to record us coming in and our food and all that sort of stuff, but um, last night when we were waiting for our food, we stopped at this like random little taco truck on the side of what's basically a highway just um, next to a hotel um, and we're waiting for our tacos and it was pitch black apart from like this taco thing and there was probably like five of us waiting just for our food and um, behind us we heard this like car went by and we heard like this sound and I thought it was like a blown tire or something like that um, one of the guys was concerned because he had parked his caravan trailer on the side of the road he thought like maybe they swiped the side of that um, but yeah, I didn't think much of it. The couple of guys were just sort of looking around, wondering what it was, and we were just standing waiting for our food, and then a couple of minutes later, one of the guys came back and said, uh, someone got hit by a car, and they're dead. <laughs> and it was, um, pretty traumatizing, actually, because the police had to come, and I think there was a fire truck that eventually came, and the police officer just asked, you know, what happened, and, um... Thankfully, we didn't we didn't see any of that because, um, like I said, it was so dark um, outside of the the taco truck. You couldn't see anything. You couldn't see the road either. It was it was that dark. But I think what happened was there was a guy, a truck driver, who was crossing the road because um, his truck was parked on the other side of the road, and yeah, um, he must have got hit as he went by. And yeah, it was <laughs> we've been pretty shooken up about it. Um, didn't get an awful lot of sleep, but you know. It's not about us, I just feel bad for the the person and yeah, the the car didn't stop, so it's a hit and run and yeah, it's sort of a bit of a sad way to end that, that trip, that part of our trip there, but uh, I don't know what else to say about it. So I think we'll just end our vlog there, I don't know whether we'll put this in to our vlog or not, but yeah. If we do, now you know why it sort of ended abruptly, but that's okay, we just want to... It's the next morning now, and we just want to get out of the town and continue on our trip and forget about what happened. So, I guess the next time you see us, we might be an hour up the road, somewhere a bit nicer, and yeah. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.